Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix 100% disk usage and we will be disabling some services which will fix this 100% disk usage in your laptop or a desktop and I will also let you know why we are disabling, disabling it and I'll educate before we disable any services. So it will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11 both. Please make sure you watch the whole video. And guys, if you have not liked the subs and subscribe, please hit the like and subscribe. So here, just do a right click in the start icon and click on run. And type services.msc. Once you have typed it, click on OK. Now, once you do that, a new window will appear like this. And here we need to select any of the services and now we need to look for sysmain. Now sysmain is, is a service which is earlier we used to call it superfetch. So if you are unable to find sysmain then look for a superfetch service. Now this services what exactly it, it, it do is whenever we uh, use a random software for an example let's say if I'm using Skype every time so whenever I restart my computer or not restarting or using it it makes it available for us so it keeps a space for a dedicated space for that particular application and whatever the space it requires so you can disable it it will not affect anything it will not create any issues you just need to do a right click just go to properties and from here, from startup type, click on disable, apply, and OK. And then again, do a right click and click on stop. You can see it has been always disabled in my computer and I have no issues whatsoever. Once this is done, close this window. And now we will move to the next step. Now for that, here we need to click on File Explorer. So you can open by any way. And once your file explorer is open, look at the left hand side and look for this PC. Once you do that, you will find your C drive where your OS is installed. Now you just need to do a right click, go to properties, and here we need to go to tools menu. Now in tools we will be doing two things and I'll let you know what exactly we need. Uh, the first one is the error checking so you need to do a error scan. So if any issues are there, if there is any bad sector in the hard drive that will be fixed with this scan. Now it might take one minute, it might take uh, five minutes or more than that. It depends which hard drive you have. Since I'm using SSD, then it's uh, it might not take more than a minute to do so. Once this is done, here we need to do the, uh, I mean, we need to disable the optimization because SSD doesn't need any optimization and even hard drive also because if you're using a mechanical hard drive, this is the main reason that why you have 100% disk usage. So here, see if you have this off option because if it is turned on let me just turn it on how exactly it will look like it will look like this it will show you on and here you will have this change settings so i'll click on change settings uncheck that click on ok and close and in this manner you have closed now for most of us this optimizing uncheck will work and suddenly the disk usage will be very less. You can check it by yourself by just doing a right click in the task, I mean start icon and go to task manager and see the disk usage under performance, how's the usage. So you can see it is 8%, 6% like that. So I'm sure I, I'll pray that it is for you as well. And once this is done, there is one more thing which you can do, which is very helpful. Just do a right click and go to task manager and here go to startup type look for any application which is not required at the startup like uh, skype cortana or steam or any other application which you do not need at the startup as far as graphics is concerned we need it security we need it audio we need it right but the things which you do not need at the startup you can disable it now disabling applications from the startup doesn't mean you cannot use it 
you can use it whenever you want to. So how you can disable it? By just doing a right click and click on disable. Now this will put off the load from your computer and even the performance of your computer will be better. So once this is done, you can restart your computer and let me know how is the performance. Leave a comment if you have successfully fixed this issue and please hit the like and subscribe. If you haven't done that, please do it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.